background and I have a different background. Yeah. If we both have Vision Pros on, we can literally be in the same space. Oh, that's crazy. And be doing the interview. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. how I'm visioning. If I'm editing like a, a, a podcast, I can literally cut the clip up with my hand, take this piece, put it over here, take because I'm in a room of this final cut. All right. And I'm just pulling things apart, taking the effect. The effects is all over here, pull effect, throw it on there, put the sound, you know, all that with my hands. That's why I vision, vision pro, but it's not there yet. Yeah. Okay. But that you got to experience it, that you, you know, picked it. I mean, that's that's great within itself. Like a lot of people, it's that's a dream, you know, to be able to mm-hmm. to do something like that. But you having the experience with something like that, I mean, that's great. But you to even give that honest opinion to say it's ahead and they need to, you know, work on some things, it's great for sure. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. Okay. If somebody you know, because we get into the last 10 minutes of this. So some really important ones to ask you. If somebody is building a brand and, you know, because what I believe happens a lot of times with people, they get this like kind of everything complex where it's like, I, I, I want to invest in Bitcoin. I want to invest in, I, you know, just want to do everything, but they're not getting any motion done. Like they're too much all over the place. And then that's when I think a lot of people give up as well. But what would you tell somebody that, you know, like, what should they be doing? Like, if, if they're a little bit confused, a little bit all over the place, like, what do you think will help them lock in on really being successful? Think about earning your leisure, right? Earning your leisure. Right. We didn't focus on any other business until we we we, we mastered earning your leisure. Once earning your leisure became a, a well-oiled machine, we started EYL University. EYL University went. Then we started EYL Network. Then we started InvestFest. But take one step at a time. You can't take two steps at a time, right? Because you're jumping, you're hopping in all over the place. Right. You want to, you got to crawl before you, you got, before you walk. You got to walk before you run, right? Just take one step at a time. Right. And the best way to do that is master one thing, then go to the next. And if you build one tree, Make sure your branches are connected to that that tree you built in some some way, some fashion. And I think that's the way to to grow because what happens is you try to do so many things and you have all this time and you try to do all these things, complete all these things, but eventually you don't end up doing anything because you get overwhelmed and get discouraged and you're back at square one. So sure. I say just master one thing at a time. Okay. No, for sure. Um, and that is big, you know, like, like when I look at it, like doing these, <clears throat> excuse me, doing these every week was one of the hardest things to do because people don't realize, like I say personally, consistency is one of the hardest things because we know so many people that started so many different things. You know, we, we knew them people that, you know, some of the nicest basketball players and football players, they kind of just got into different things. They didn't take it that serious. And then they got passed up. It didn't work out. Because they weren't consistent. But it's like consistency is one of the biggest things. You don't even have to be great at something. If you're yeah. consistent at something, you can be successful. You're right. You're right. Really? You know, I, nine out of ten, if you look at like if you look at sports, nine out of ten are not all stars. They're they they just on the team and most of them don't even play getting in the game at all. But they're good enough to be on the practice squad. So now they gotta, you know, they're able to build from there. So it's like like you said, just the consistency of showing up allowed them the opportunity to get to where they're at. So it's like, sh- show up. You know, a lot of That's people, it. yeah, you know, and, and I think it's like, you know, you always have an option of what you want to look at. Like, you could look at the good thing that happened that's happening or you could looking at the down thing like a lot of people um when it, you know we got the super bowl coming up and they're, you know they're talking about brock purdy's not good and, and it's like well he's pretty successful look what he's doing and it's got like playoffs. yeah he's, he got to the playoffs got to the super bowl he's doing what he's doing but it's like you're looking at an opportunity to try to put somebody down or look at the bad thing in the situation when it's like there's so many good things happening like when i look at the picture that um, I, I forget who posted. I'm, it might have been Rashad that posted it, the picture when you guys first started. But you guys were smiling when you guys started EYL, and it's like smile when you start. Um, 
dress good, do the, you know, do good things when you start because, you know, you might not get where you want to be where you want, like at the time you want. But if you're starting to put the work in now, you'll probably get there ahead of schedule. That's a fact. That's what I believe. Um, and But you can't get there unless you start. For sure. For sure. It's like if, you know, if somebody said, oh, you guys going to be a part of NBA All-Star Weekend. And somebody said, oh, that's going to happen in 10 years. It happened in, you know, like four years. Like, that's how quick it happened. But it's like, you know, and what's so amazing about it is like, I really believe you guys with EYL are changing, like have saved probably millions of lives from people that just from listening to people that, dang, this person is from my neighborhood. They're successful. Mm-hmm. They, this person started a restaurant. This person, you know, is doing technology. This, you know, look at InvestFest. Like it, it opened up hope and belief for millions of people. Like you said, from, um, what's this? You said Greensboro, New York? Greenberg, New York. Greenberg. Greenberg, excuse me. Green. So where, where is, like, where is Greenberg, New York, as far as, like, how far is it away from New York City? Uh, about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. See, like, I it's, never... It's in Westchester County. It's about White Plains. Okay. See, I never knew that city even existed. And it's like, you know, you guys believed in yourselves. Like, so I want to let people know, like, to become what you want to become, to do the things you want to do, you got to believe in yourself. Like, that's one of the main things. Like, if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe in learning from others, from experts, like... That really, for me, that was a differentiating thing as far as growing is saying, look, I don't got all the answers. You know, I, you know, you, you have a house, you didn't build your house. There were builders that built, you trust those experts to do it. You want to grow, listen to podcasts, listen to, you know, to things that can help you. There's so many that can help you. Michael J. McDonald got podcasts, EYL, Social Proof, Circle of Greatness with Neil. The list goes on. There's so many that you can that you can learn from and grow with. So it's like, give it a chance. Listen to five, ten episodes. Don't just turn it off or just do what everybody else is doing. Give it a chance. Give it a shot. It's a fact. Got to do. You got to do it. You never know what's going to happen. Right. The 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 people that you thought probably would least be successful in podcasting are highly successful. All right. Um. Before we get out of here, I want to get your take on podcasting itself because I personally think that podcasting is the new generation of the future, really.